What's up everyone and welcome back for another video. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at a very cool USB microphone from Tonor. Yes, that is the same company that makes that awesome boom arm behind me back there with my blue Yeti on it that you guys really seem to dig. So let's go ahead and roll the intro and unbox this sucker. Let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what is in the box here for the Tonor TC777. And uh, yeah, this box is actually, it's a little bit smaller than I actually really expected. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab our knife. There we go. And let's go ahead and I think we got a couple of things right here we need to cut. So let's go ahead and cut those open. There we go. And flip her back over and get this unboxing started. So here we go. This should just slide right off right here and make it look really cool. Hopefully I can do it. There we go. Okay. All right. So first thing we got is our service card right there. We love to hear from you, it says. And it comes with a two-year replacement warranty, you guys. So this is something that is going. I was going to say later in the features, but I might as well just get it out of the way now. Uh, it's very cool. They are putting a two-year warranty in these things because, you know, some lower end or I wouldn't say lower end but some lower costing things uh, usually only have like a year warranty or like a 30 day warranty or something like that so very cool and props to Tonor for putting a two year warranty on their product which means they're pretty much backing this product so that's cool to see uh, next instruction manual right there pretty standard stuff um, just everything you need to do um, to get it started not bad at all looks pretty cool pretty standard okay what else do we got here all right next thing this is a included pop filter Right there, uh, a lot smaller than one that I have for my other microphones. Uh, for example, let me grab one real quick and show you the size, size difference. So this is the one that I have on my desk over there. You can see on the camera, you barely can see it because it's so much bigger. But yeah, that's the size comparison to the one that comes with this uh, microphone from Tonor right here. So it's a lot smaller, but uh, this is a smaller of a microphone. So maybe that's all they need. But anyway, just figured I'd show you guys that. So yeah. A little bit smaller of a pop filter, but very cool they include that. Let's get this out of the way here. So the whole unit, let me see. Oh, it comes with another uh, wind filter right here. Um, comes a little bit, you know, scrunched up, but uh, it, it's foam, so it'll go back to normal um, afterwards. So there you go. Just a little bit of time, and it will go back to uh, the form it's supposed to be. So no big deal there. And then, um, so it's cool they include this too. And then it looks like the whole unit right here just comes right out, and it's all one piece. Look at this. That's very cool, guys. I think this is the coolest part to me right here. The entire thing is all one piece. They don't make you buy any additional accessories for this. Uh, it's all just together already and ready for you to, to use it pretty much. So um, look like this right here. Look, yep, you can move the, um, the head up and down on the shock mount right here. Uh, this is the little arm for the pop filter. You just probably screw this on top right here and put it in front of the mic. And then it has a little stand right here with these legs that just extend out, it looks like. So they must just move, yep. So they can extend like this. There we go, just adjusted the camera for you guys so you can see a little bit better. So here's the legs right there. And yeah, they just fold out. That's pretty much the only thing they do. They just fold out, it looks like. Um, so you can put it on your desk. And then if you extend this up right here, um, it looks like you can put it just like this. Extend these legs out and uh, move this box out the way right here. And there you go, look, you got yourself a nice little microphone set up right there. So that's very cool looking. And then if we go ahead and take this right here, this little pop filter, so if I can get you guys a good view of it, there it is. Let's go ahead and screw that on. All right. And get that thing on there, there we go. And it's on, okay. So it looks like from what, you're, what I know from this, you're supposed to put this pop filter in front of the capsule right here, which should be on the front where the logo is. So right here, guys, this is where you're supposed to speak into the mic, right there. You want it, you want to be speaking into wherever the logo is. Uh, I know that just from any other mic that I use usually, uh, the front of it, where the actual capsule is that you want to speak into, typically is where the logo is. And uh, I went ahead and read the manual and that's where it is. So um, there we go, we'll put the, we'll stretch the pop filter and put it right in front of there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Like that is the, that right there will be your setup. That's it. Uh, one thing I do want to note about this thing is that the cable right here, as you guys can see, the cable in the bottom, it is not detachable. Uh, so the cable is actually built into the bottom of the microphone, 
which is kind of weird. Uh, every other microphone that I've used has a detachable cable of some kind. Um, but again, you know, if you're worried about this cable ever wearing out or something like that and having to replace it, that is why they're covering it with a two year warranty. So that's kind of cool. It kind of covers you for that. So uh, if this ever was to, you know, maybe get, you know, broken or something like that, or you were to cut it for some, some odd reason, um, you can just get it replaced with that two year warranty. So that's, it's probably why they're doing something like that because they have this all integrated and they probably need to cover it for a while because those things happen. So, um, very cool. Um, just, uh, just something I thought I'd point out to you guys, cause it is a little different from a lot of the mics that I've used. All right. And all of that stuff you just saw will cost you $39.99 on Amazon at the time of filming. And again, very cool that it comes with the, uh, extra wind filter, pop filter, um, shock mount and the mount itself. Very, very cool. And now that we have it out of the box and ready to go, let's quickly run through a few features of this microphone real quick. So the TC777, that's what I'm calling it now, comes with a driver-free plug and play design. So installing it should be very easy, like I said, for anyone uh, to do. And at its price range, I'm sure a wide range of users will be giving this thing a look. Like you saw in the unboxing, this mic requires pretty much zero assembly as it comes pre-assembled out of the box. And all you have to do is you extend the legs, put on the pop filter, set it on your desk, and you're good to go. This is actually pretty cool, like I mentioned before, because it keeps you from having to buy additional accessories uh, and just has everything you need right out of the box. So it's definitely a win for Tonor. The TC777 is a cardioid pattern mic, meaning you want to speak in the front of it uh, where the logo is, like I said before. It is meant to capture one person speaking directly, typically, into it. Uh, although it might still pick up other noises, uh, it doesn't act like a stereo mic catching sound from either side of it. So it's not best for picking up multiple people's voices if that's what you're intending to do with it. Uh, but for voiceovers, gaming, or general video calls, this should do the trick for you. So what I wanna do with this little guy is to put it up against a very popular mic in the same price range, the Blue Snowball Ice. Coming in at just $10 more, this was actually my first USB mic that I picked up at my local Best Buy a few years ago, and it did pretty well for what I used it for. The Snowball here also has a cardioid pattern, and I'm going to do a couple of vocal tests with the mics in two different environments to hopefully show you guys the differences, if any, between these two mics um, that are very similar in price and features. And I think this would be a fair comparison because of that. Uh, and hopefully this will also show that the tone aura here uh, can compete with one of the big names and still come in at a lower price. So let's go ahead and move on to testing and get over here on the computer. Okay, so now that we're at the computer, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the characteristics in this particular uh, setup right here. And this one is kind of gonna be the, the general user's area, okay? And uh, this kind of sound is kind of what just a normal person would get out of this microphone, uh, being that my room right now is not acoustically treated at all. Uh, you can see even probably back behind me in my scene there. Uh, I've taken down some of my acoustic panels and it's because I'm redoing them for another video and for using a different type of acoustic treatment for my room. Uh, so right now, I figured this would be a great time to actually use this mic and the Blue Snowball, uh, like I said, to really test what these sound like for just the general user in this kind of environment. And of course, we'll switch to another environment later, but uh, this one, we're gonna get probably some echo from the room. We're gonna get a little bit of noise probably from my computer. And uh, so once I get this thing hooked up, I will let you guys hear the ambient noise, obviously, that this picks up before I start speaking into it. So let's go ahead and hook this thing up. Really, all you gotta do, see it's already set up right here. All you gotta do is plop it on your desk, like I said, and open up uh, the little, it actually has a cable strap on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's a little handy dandy little cable strap right there. Um, take that off, put it to the side, and then you just take the cable out and then you just need to put it into your computer and uh, get it to work. So we just gotta plug it in really quick to a USB. Um, that's all, all it is right there. And uh, like I said, one of the limitations to this might only be maybe the length of the cable because you may need an extender if you wanna route it in a certain way. And like I said, this is a Tonor product, so it actually is compatible with my arm I have right here that you guys have seen me review on the channel. Uh, that's my Blue Yeti right there, if you guys didn't know, but yeah, it's on the arm. Uh, I'm not gonna take it off and put it on there, but I know that it is compatible because this little shock mount right here, this actually comes apart. This piece right here, the, the bottom piece, you can unscrew this and take it off, and it is compatible with that mic arm over there. So uh, Tonor themselves told me that. So if you wanted to use this with that mic arm, you totally can. 
Uh, the only limitation, like I said, may just be the length of this cable right here. You might have to get some kind of extension is all. So anyway, let's go ahead and plug this into the computer and uh, let me get it set up in Premiere and I will then go ahead and do some voice tests with it really quick. First, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the ambient noise that this thing picks up from my specific room. Uh, you might hear some outdoor noise because my neighbor is currently mowing the lawn too, so this is actually a good idea right now. So this is a perfect little test of ambient noise and see what it picks up. So let me go ahead and start this and I will let you guys hear what it just picks up in the room. Okay, so I don't think it did too bad from just looking at the levels right now. I didn't listen to it, but just looking at the levels bouncing up and down, it didn't look like it picked up way too much or anything. So that's not too bad for the Tonor. It actually looks like it's pretty good at uh, getting noise, you know, taking noise out and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and just do the vo random voice test. So obviously, I'm just gonna go ahead and say a couple of random things just to kind of give you guys an idea of what it sounds like sitting at my desk uh, in an untreated room like most of you probably have. Uh, and at the proper, um, you know, proper distance away from it. So here we go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the Tonor TC777 cardioid microphone. I am sitting about six inches from it right now talking to you guys. Bam, bam, ta, ta, da, da. There you go, there's the test. Okay guys, so now I have the blue snowball set up right here with the pop filter that I, of course, had to buy separately. Uh, it does not come with this microphone like the Tonor does. Uh, so again, leg up for Tonor right there. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do our ambient test again. Let's go ahead and see what the ambient sound is like with the blue snowball. All right, so once again, it looks like it didn't pick up too much noise, but I do think the blue snowball ended up picking up a lot more ambient noise than the Tonor did. So I think the Tonor gets a win for that one. Okay, let's go ahead and do our voice test now and uh, test what the actual voice sounds like speaking into a blue snowball. Same distance from it, same pop filter, everything. So let's go ahead. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the blue snowball ice edition. It is sitting about six inches from my face and I am talking directly into the front of the mic. Ta-ta, da-da, pa-pa, bam, bam. There's the test. All right, guys, so now we are in my little closet recording studio thing. Uh, hopefully this sound, sound, the sound sounds a little bit better in here. It'll be a little bit more contained, uh, not so much you know, outward noise and echo. The only thing you might hear in here is actually just the fans from my computer because I totally forgot that my laptop isn't exactly the most silent laptop out there, but hopefully it's pretty quiet. So what we're gonna do, we already have the Tonor hooked up right here. Uh, I'll just lift it up for you guys since so you, you can't really see it, but yep, there it is, just so you guys know, it's there. Uh, and again, we're gonna do the ambient sound test real quick. Uh, it sounds like my laptop has kind of quieted down, so we'll go ahead and do that ambient sound test right now. Let me go ahead and cue up Premiere and let it do its thing, so here we go. Okay, and right there, hopefully all you probably heard was just some background noise outside. Uh, Alex is kind of getting ready for the day and stuff like that. Uh, and maybe you maybe heard uh, me breathing or something like that. Hopefully that's pretty much all it picks up. If so, then it does a pretty good job. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and just do the regular sound test now with the Tonor. So I'll go ahead and cue this up and we will go ahead and do our sound test. So let's go ahead and get after it. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and space myself just about six inches from it and speak normally. Hello, hello, hello. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a voiceover record test for the Tonor TC777 cardioid microphone. Ya, ya, T, T, pa, pa, bam, bam. This is a voice test. Okay guys, so now I've switched to the blue snowball. Here it is for you guys, just so you guys know that it's here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a little test right here of the ambient room sound on the blue snowball. Okay, so that was the ambient room test one more time. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and just do my voice test again and uh, see what the voice sounds like in this more treated room. So let's go ahead and do that. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a voice test of the blue snowball ice. It is sitting just about six inches away from my face and I'm d talking directly into it. Testing, 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 testing. Ta, ta, da, da, ba, ba, 
Bam, bam, this has been a voice test. Okay, so after all those tests and after using it for a couple of days, what are my final thoughts on this little microphone? Main verdict here, for the price, it really does sound great and it does an awesome job blocking out all the ambient noise. Uh, keep in mind that for less than $50, you're not gonna be getting a professional quality mic or even the quality of like, say the blue Yeti I have back there, which is over the double the price. I may add. Uh, so please don't be expecting that from the get go. But it is a great first mic for someone looking for a more compact and easy to use system, as well as something that seems like it will last them quite a while. Now let's answer the question. Is it better than the blue snowball? In my opinion, Yes, I actually really enjoy the sound of the Tonor over the Snowball. I feel like the blue just picks up a little too much ambient noise and has a different range than the Tonor has. And for me, the Tonor actually hits the mark where I like it to sound. Of course, this can all come down to preference as many things do when it comes to sound design. So wrapping things up here, I think for the price, this mic is great and I had no real issues with it at all uh, from a budget mic perspective. I think if you're looking at picking up your first mic for gaming, streaming, voiceover work, or even podcasts for like a single user, uh, this thing will do just fine. And on that note, if you'd actually like to win this very mic right here in my hand, uh, you can. I already have a mic I use back there, obviously, like you guys have seen. So I would love to give back and give it to one of you guys. So here's what you need to do to enter. So all you gotta do first is like the video and subscribe like you always should, okay? So make sure you guys like and subscribe the video. Then I want you guys to go over to my Instagram and follow that. And then very last, I want you guys to go ahead and comment down below what you guys would do with the mic and why you want it. It is very important that you comment down below because that is how I'll be choosing the winner at random. I'm gonna scroll through the comments and I'm gonna randomly pick one, okay? So this will be open to everyone this time, and if you happen to live very far from the US, I will do what I can, and I'll see what they can let me do about shipping the mic to you, even in these crazy times right now, okay? So anyway, that'll be it for this one, you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Don't forget to do all those things and enter the drawing, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. Later.